Um, we're going to get started with a little bit of warming up. Um, we're going to start with calf raises and just lift up and down. Perfect. So just warming up our calves, warming up our bodies. Good. This is not about, you know, getting your heart rate up yet. Just want to get that body going. Perfect. Keep it up. You got it. Good. Now I want you to bring those ankles out to the side and then back down. So you're going up, out, and then back down. Okay? Up, out. It takes a little bit of balance. If you need to hold on to something, go ahead. No problem. Perfect. So up, out, and back down. Good. Shake those legs out. We're going to get started with squat and twist. So squat and twist towards that front leg. Perfect. Again, remember, feet are shoulder width apart. No matter how long I've been training someone or working with someone, the most common thing, they just start exercising, they put their feet together, and they just start doing things. Make sure that when you squat, you're able to get those knees to 90 degrees. Perfect. Keep twisting towards that one side. Every time you put that foot down, it goes back into the same spot. So maybe pick a place where you're just going to keep putting that foot back down. Perfect. You got it. Looking good. Keep getting low. Nice job. Getting that body moving. Core, butt, legs. Good, and we're going to switch sides. Squat and twist the other way. Again, core, shoulders, butt, legs. Total body workout. Nice job. Keep it up. Again, remember where your squat should be. Get as low as you can. Sit back on those heels. Even when you're doing exercises like this, you want to make sure that your squats are still good. Don't lose that foundation. Nice job. Keep those hands up by your head. We want to make those shoulders work a little bit. Two more. Last one. Good. Okay. Feet are going to be more than shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent. And then you're going to lean forward, keeping a flat back. Try to get your upper body parallel to the floor. And then stand back up and squeeze your tush. So forward and stand back up. Perfect. Nice job. Good. Kind of stick that butt out, stick it out, and keep that arch in your back. Looking good. You got it. Nice job. Go at your own pace. Make sure that you're, you know, look at yourself in a mirror if you need to. Run over to a mirror. Make sure you're doing it right. Good. Keep sticking that butt out. Hands up by your head. Still working those shoulders. Good, we got two more. Last one. Good, okay, you're gonna go into a lunge and we're just gonna run in place. Twist that core, use that core. Legs are working, core's working, arms are working. You're welcome to use weights. Make it a little more challenging. Again, make sure that back heel is up in the lunge. A lot of times people lunge like this when they start doing this exercise. And I still want that back knee bent. Good. Keep it up. You got it. Keep those arms moving. Use that core. Try to focus on your arms. Relax your shoulders. And forget about the burn in your legs. Just keep pushing. You're doing great. Keep it up.
Feel that burn in your butt, in your thigh, but think about those shoulders staying relaxed. Twist through that core. You got it. Almost there. Push through this. Good, switch sides. Same thing, go. Good, think about how tight that core is gonna be and your butt after doing this. Burn, it burns, but it's worth it. You know it. Good, keep it up. Keep that back heel off the ground. I know you can do this. Starting to break a sweat now. Getting that heart rate up. Our muscles are working. You got it. Don't stop. Don't stop now. Don't give up. Hang in there. I know everything's burning. Keep pushing. Nice job. Come on. You got it. Good. And relax. Here we go. Back to lift up and down calves, right? So just lift up and down. Feet can be hip width or shoulder width apart. Whatever feels best. Just don't have them right next to each other or too wide. You want to make sure that you get a lot of leverage. Perfect. Good. Now we're going to go out to the side with those ankles, right? So you're lifting up, out, and then back down. This helps with ankle stability. So if you have weak ankles, sprain them, turn them a lot when you're running or anything, this is going to help stabilize those ankles and make them stronger. Good. Again, think about injury prevention. No weak ankles, good for high heel walking. Need strong ankles. Good, squat and twist, here we go. Squat and twist, stay on that same side. Again, remember, where do your feet go? Shoulder width apart, get low in that squat. Sit down, sit back on those heels. Just because we're moving doesn't mean your squat still shouldn't be low. You're doing awesome. Good. Keep it up. Hope you got some music blasting that's pumping you up, making you work hard. Nice job. Keep going, keep going, don't stop. Good, two more. Last one. Good, switch sides. And push off, twist. Push off and twist. Good, get that elbow to that knee. You got it, you're gonna be so much stronger and fitter. Think one day at a time, just show up, get started. It feels so good, doesn't it? Good, keep it up, love it. Nice job. Go right into that squat. Try not to stand and then squat and stand and then twist. You want to keep that motion fluid because it works the muscles more. They don't get a break then. Two more. Good. Hands stay above your head. Feet are more than shoulder width apart. Remember, stick that butt out. Flat back forward. Stand back up. You can keep your legs straight if you have enough flexibility. I think it helps a lot of people by slightly bending your knees so that you get more flexibility and you can have that flat back all the way. If you have a lot of flexibility in your hamstrings, you're welcome to just keep them straight. Just try not to lock them out. Don't tighten your quads. 
Just keep your legs straight. Good, hands are up by your head. Keep those shoulders working. I know they're not burning per se, but they're still working. Good, nice job. You got it. Keep squeezing that butt at the top. Remember, squeeze. You really want to tighten those glutes, tighten the backs of the thighs. Think great for when you're in a bikini. Good, we're going to do two more. One more. Good, go into that lunge, running in place. Go. Perfect, our thighs got a little bit of a break. Arms now come down. Work in that core, biceps. Every time when your arm's like this, it's not strength per se, but you're still working those biceps and toning those arms. You're using them. Good, back heels off the ground, right? Keep twisting. I know you're starting to feel that burn. I'm starting to feel the burn, but push through it. Change only happens as soon as you get uncomfortable. Nice job. We're going to go a little bit longer. You got it. Keep twisting. Good. Switch sides. Here we go. And whoop, go. Good, again, back heel off the ground, knees are at 90 degrees. Try not to push forward, don't push that knee forward. Really stand tall, twisting those arms in a nice lunge position. Good. You're gonna get a little bit of a water break right after this, so hang in there. You got it, think about that reward. You work hard now, you get a little bit of a break. Talk yourself through it, jam out to that music, sing along. Just keep those arms and body moving. Yes, I'm feeling the burn too, but you got it. Come on, push through it. I know you got this. A little bit longer. Good. Relax.